All right, guys, for your mini band prone single leg hip extension, get in the prone position, so face down, mini band just above the knees, and then from here, hands are going to be in front. You can rest your forehead down. I'm just going to bring my head up a little bit just because the mic is right here. Hopefully, it's clear. All right, so what we want to do with this is make sure there's two things here, a couple things, is make sure you go into a good posterior pelvic tilt. So go ahead and look at my hips. Okay, I'm tucking my hips underneath, so I'm bringing my belt buckle up towards my rib cage and my lower back is flattening. Now, I have a tough time maintaining this throughout, so I have to keep checking in with my hips to make sure I'm in a, a half decent position. What we don't want is, is excessive extension in that lower or lumbar spine, okay? So again, pelvic tilt, flattening that lower back. From here, I want you to straighten your legs and squeeze your quads, because that's gonna take some of the, the tension off the hamstrings, and that way we can focus on the glutes for hip extension as opposed to the hamstrings. Third thing is, you're not just going to raise up, you're going to raise up and out, so on an angle, okay, so abduction, and then down and in for a four count. It's usually what I give, four count and on the way down, maybe a two count hold at the top, okay? So from here, pelvic tilt, raising up, and on an angle, down, three, two, one. Reset my hip if I have to. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one one. Guys, that is your mini band prone single leg hip extension.